So here we are talking to John Young, founder of The Art of Mentoring. Hello. Hi. Um, so we wanted to ask you just briefly, what was the, um, what is the core of The Art of Mentoring? Well, I created The Art of Mentoring because I was trying to teach people about connection modeling. Mm -hmm. But when you think you understand it in your head, you fail to be able to reproduce it with your actions. Whereas the children go right into it, the adults don't. So we had to create an experience of it where we could use connection modeling that's super effective at getting kids connected and then bring the adults through the experience and then talk to them in adult ways as we unpack how it happened because adults are surprised by the power of it, how quickly it, it draws out connection and how happy their children get and really how happy everyone gets. It's like it brings back the memory of what it could be like to live in a mentoring culture again. And what will people actually experience on this Art of Mentoring week? The Art of Mentoring is um, really different for everyone. Um, you know, it's not a, a workshop where you're going to come and fill a notebook. It, it's more like you're going to come and have an experience. And um, it's a good fun experience. I mean, you know, it's, it's like the best possible family reunion you've ever been to. It's the best gathering of friends you've ever been to. And you don't even know them yet. You know, but you'll have lifelong friends at the end of it. Um, and people will share nature experiences, they'll share amazing meals together, music, um, storytelling, you know, time around the fire. But mostly what they're going to learn about is things that really speak to the nervous system of a human body. You know, the neurobiology of a human needs certain things. Uh, and the art of mentoring really opens that up. And then people go away saying, wow, this is, this is what it could be like to live in a village or to have good neighbors and it just brings back memories of, of what it feels like when you're really well held and then we talk about how that happened because mm. we don't talk about it up front we'll bring you into the experience and then unpack it at the end and people go away really satisfied uh, more than satisfied wanting to figure out how they can influence their circles through the same so it ends up in organizations it ends up obviously in, in youth programs but uh, people apply it in all kinds of ways now and it's, it's, it's gone all over the world so who, who would it be useful to come on this week? You know, uh, it would be useful for anyone and everyone who's a human being who works with human beings, which pretty much is everyone. <laughs> Unless you're somebody who lives by yourself in Antarctica, you'd really, you'd really want the experience of the art of mentoring. Oh, I, I always say, art of mentoring is for anyone who works with humans, except for jailers, because they might want to not have too much empathy. <laughs> and what, are the, what would it engender in the people who come along? What it, qualities with it? Yeah, the art of mentoring really brings out, within a couple of days, people become happier, they have more vitality, uh, they feel this deep ability to listen to one another's stories, they, they remember what empathy feels like, they, they, the helpful spirit returns, they feel this great love of life, um, compassion breaks open, and they discover something special called the quiet mind. You know, it's like mindful, mindfulness plus uh, sensory connection, it's, uh, it brings a lot of good for people. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. You don't wanna go to war. Lay down your sword and shield. Don't wanna go to war.